bankruptcy, murder, mayhem, and revolution. Would you believe the Hope Diamond connects them? Let's dive into history. Legend has it the Hope Diamond was stolen from a temple in India in the 1660s, triggering a protective curse. Fast forward to the French Revolution, Marie Antoinette and Louis XVI were beheaded and the diamond is stolen by looters. Forty years later, the estate of King George IV, remember the tea party? Yeah, that guy, sells the diamond to Lord Philip Hope in 1830. 1839, Hope, for whom the diamond is named, croaks with no will. Sixty years of bitter family fighting, lawsuits, and finally bankruptcy in 1901. In 1910, famous jeweler Cartier acquired the notorious gemstone, reset it, and sells it to American socialite Eveline Walsh McLean, who was attracted by the curse. I like to pretend the thing brings good luck, she said. In 1947, McLean's estate sells it to Harry Winston, the king of diamonds, who makes it to the centerpiece of his touring collection, the Court of Jewels. It drew so many fans in 1958, Winston famously mailed the diamond to the Smithsonian Museum, where it resides to this day, casting its spell over 7 million visitors a year. Wait! Don't go yet! One last fact about the famous blue diamond. When exposed to ultraviolet light, it glows a mysterious bright red. Scary, huh?